Welcome. We are going to be installing the SQL Server, SQL Server Management Studio, that is SSMS, and also we are going to be looking at how to import the Adventure Works database into our SSMS. The very first thing you have to do is to download and install SQL Server. So you can come to the search box, search for SQL Server 2022. Then this is it over here from the Microsoft site itself. You can just come to downloads. Then we have try SQL Server on premises or in the cloud. That is not what we want. Then you can scroll down a bit. Then see download a free specialized edition. So I guess we're downloading the developer edition because it is a full featured free edition compared to the express edition where you have some limitations so download now so you can see it's downloading already it's done you can open file and yes it's getting ready so you can just choose the basic installation and not complicate things for ourselves so basic okay terms and condition you can take your time to read it but for me i'll be accepting so this is where the location where the sql server is going to be installing then there's the download size is over a gig so i'll just click on install Although this might take time because of the internet speed, so I'm just going to be pressing the video for a while and then return back to the video when it's almost downloaded. Alright, my installation has not been completed. That took um, a few minutes. So as you can see, our instance, my instance name is um, MSSQL Server Owen. Then this is the administrator. Then one thing about people often get it confused. So um, SQL Server is just a database engine. Then SSMS, which is um, SQL Server Management Studio, is like the interface where you manage your queries, write your queries, and so on. So now we've successfully installed um, SQL Server 2022 Developer Edition on our machine. So the next thing to do now is to install SSMS. So we can write our queries, manage our queries, and so on. So you click on install SSMS from here. And it has directed us to where we can download SSMS. So there are a lot of versions of SSMS and um, we're going to be downloading the latest one, which is um, SSMS 20.0. So it's released March 19, 2024. So I'll click on download. Okay, it's just for 185 megabytes, saying so 2 minutes left. And also the download depends on your internet speed. So don't be scared if you are seeing like 1 hour left or something. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, it's now done. You can just open the file. Okay, we open the file and this prompt came up. So we just click on install Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 20. That, that means um, 20.0, that's the version number. So we we'll click on install. Yes, we want it to make changes on our device. Okay, this may also take a while because it also uses um, the internet. So it all depends on your internet speed. 
Okay, so started. It's going to just take a few minutes actually. All right, so our installation has been completed. So we can close. We can close this also. And can come over here to search for our SQL Server Management Studio. This is it over here, this particular one. SQL Server Management Studio 20. So it might actually take a while for it to open because it's the first time. Okay, you might not actually get this prompt because I once had um, the older version installed earlier before I uninstalled to install the latest version. So I'm not going to import. So it's still loading. As I said, it's might actually take a while for it to come up because it's your first time. So we have this. So our server name authentication then encryption you can choose optional for now then connect okay so we've connected and we've actually successfully connected to the SQL server database engine using our SSMS so the next task now is to import the AdventureWorks database 2022 so you can go back to our browser and we can search for AdventureWorks 2022 database 2022 so here we go so we are going to download a backup file I'm going to be downloading the OLTP, which is the Online Transaction Processing Workload. This particular one has the latest version. Okay, it's downloading already. It's going to take a minute. All right, so we have our AdventureWorks backup file. So the next thing for us to do is to move the backup file from the download folder. So again, so moving the backup file to our SQL backup location. And that, um, that location might actually vary depending on the, um, what's it called? The version of SQL server that we installed. And also to get that, you can go to your disk then go to program files then you can search for ms sql okay this is it right here then okay this is my instance name don't forget the instance name we used in um that we saw the other time mine is um sql server 01 yours might be different so i'll go for ms MS SQL Server 01. Then open this and um, back up. Continue. And then you paste the copied um, backup file that we downloaded earlier. You can paste it here. So I'll just paste. Alright, so this has been completed. We've moved the backup file to the backup location. So the next thing to do now is to go back to our SSS SMS to restore the backup. So you select a database, then restore database. Then over here the sources from our device. Then come to this ellipse, these three dots. Then we want to select the backup file now. They will come and add. Then this should automatically pop up for us. Should in case this does not pop up, that means you've actually pasted the backup file in a wrong location. Then select OK. Then select OK over here also. Then you can see done. 
so just click on OK and you can see database AdventureWorks 2022 restored successfully so this is it over here you can see the tables they're loading you can see these are the tables that we have in the AdventureWorks 2022 database so see you in the next video